morning dear students today i will be teaching you logarithmic differentiation in the elements of calculus it will be video number 4 so here logarithmic differentiation is there till now what we have done we have done the basics when x is in the base and our formula of derivative will be n into x to the power n minus 1 here x is in the power and our derivative is a to the power x if y goes to a to the power x derivative will be a to the power x log a exponential functions we have already studied differentiation will be the same e to the power x e over dx will be e to the power x and the constant the derivation will be d over dx will be z but what if we have to find the derivative of a function which is like this x to the power x log x to the power x log x to the power log x these are called logarithmic differentiation because the interesting thing you will find that in base also and in power also there is a number of x so how to find the derivative of this now if y equal to x to the power x as a first step you take log of both the sides now you got to be aware that log of anything to the power n to the power n is n log n so what we are going to get log y equal to x log x now we have got typical two functions u and v now we can derive that. Both the sides. We have to derive both the sides because we are having log y log x. So d by dx of log y equal to d by dx of x into log x. The second step, the differentiation will be that one by y d by by dx, and here first function into d by dx of Second function plus second function into d by dx of first function. One by y d by dx will be first function into d by dx of log x. You are very much aware. One by x plus log of x. d by dx d by dx of x is what that also you are okay. so it will be one by y d by by dx equals to x by x plus log x so one by y d by by dx will be one plus log So we have to find d by by dx. So d by by dx will be y into one plus log x. We can substitute the value of y. So d by by dx will be x to the power x into one plus log x. Now take another example. Y equal to log of x to the power x. We are very much aware. That log of n to the power n is n log n. So that will be x log x. The power is now it has become two functions u and v. And we will take differentiation. D by by dx equals to u into d by dx of d plus v into d by dx of So d by by dx will be x into one by x plus log x into one. So d by by dx will be one plus x. Let us take another example. Y equal to log x to the power log x. So the second step will be log x into log. I repeat, log of n to the power n will be n log n. 
therefore it will be log x into log x. So now, if you want to differentiate it, I go for this simple methods, take it as first function, take it as second function. There is one more way that it will become log x whole square. So what I take, I go by this. First function into d by dx of second function plus second function into d by dx of first function. d by by dx of log x into d by dx of log x is 1 by x plus log x d by dx of log x is 1 by x d by dx x log x by x plus log x by x so d by by dx then d by x as I have told you earlier also we can even frame our questions say for example y equal to 3x plus take any constant 8 to the power here also I wanted to have number of x 4x so this question is there and we have to take d by by dx differentiation so first step will be take log both sides log y equal to log 3x plus 8 to the power 4x the second step will be 4x log 3x plus 8 and third step will be take differentiation to both sides it is u it is e and the differentiation will be in the left hand side it will be 1 bar y HRD differentiation d by dx and here first function into d by dx of second function plus second function into d by dx of the first function so 1 by y d by by dx will be 4x no, log of this that will be 1 by 3x plus 8 into d by as I have told you in substitution method d by dx of the item which I have taken as x that will be again derived and here d by dx of 4x will be 4 so 1 by y d by by dx will be 4x by 3x plus 8 into d by dx of 3x will be 3 plus 0 we don't need to write that plus 4 log 3x plus 8 so it will be 4 into 3 12 so d by by dx will be y into 12x by 3x plus 8 plus 4 log 3x plus 8 that will be the answer you can put the value of y also. That that one more step you can take. So d by by dx will be 3x plus 8 to the power 4x 12x by 3x plus 8 plus 4 log 3x. As a last question, I will be explaining a simple question which is actually of division but by taking log, if you use logarithm method, it becomes even easier. And after that, I will be explaining you all the formulas which will be for your use. So let us take that. <coughs> so yeah.
take log both sides log y equal to log 4x plus 21 by 8x plus 15 the second step as you know log m by n is log n minus log n so log y equal to log 4x plus 21 minus log 8x plus 15 now take the relation both sides d by dx of log y equal to d by dx of log 4x plus 21 minus log 8x plus 15 d by dx of log y now we can directly differentiate here. so here because we have become so expert otherwise 1 by y d by by dx so d by dx of log 4x plus 21 will be 1 by 4x plus 21 into d by dx of 4x plus 21 minus d by dx of log 8x plus 15 will be 1 by 8x plus 15 into d by dx of 8x plus 15 so 1 by y d by by dx will be will be 1 by 4x plus 21 into d by dx of 4x will be 4 and 21 will be 0 4 plus 0 time by 4 directly minus 1 by 8x plus 15 d by dx of 8x will be 8 15 will be 0 8 plus 0 and 8 so the last step will be d by by dx in the cross multiplication that, that will go to the from the numerator of left hand side it will go to the numerator of right hand side and I will write the substituted value also the original value also 4x plus 21 by 8x plus 15 that is y by goes this side that is y 4 by 4x plus 21 minus 8 by 8x plus 15 that is this method is of simple division problem I have taken and I have gone through law ok now the students have to keep that in mind that which method is going to be easier at times the direct method, direct division method is easier at times taking log is easier I have taken an example and did it to log method method but this thing you have to analyze and you have to come to the point which method should be used my main aim was to explain the method these are the compilation of the formulas which might be used during the making of your questions what I have done, I have even given some more rules like when you multiply what happens like y equals to x to the power n and x to the power n minus 1 when we multiply with c, c will be multiplied here also constant I have taken this x I have taken and this root x also I have taken all these formulas you can go through and it will be kept as Further, I have written the formula which have been used in this elements of calculus. This is formula for addition, this is for subtraction, this is for multiplication, this is for division, this is for substitution and the log, logarithmic, whatever it is used. We have come to an end of the chapter elements of calculus. All the best for this you and